What's going on guys? It's your boy Trey and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Today, we got another reaction video for you as always. The GTA streamer who faked his death. Now, what's crazy is when I saw the title and thumbnail for this video, I kind of already knew where this video was headed. I didn't know too much about what happened, but I have heard uh, and I have seen old clips of people talking about a person or so and so faked his death. It was, da -da -da, it was a lot of drama. Now that there's a video about it and there's full context, and you know, the YouTube Patrick CC video documentary style that there is right now, let's go ahead and check this out. And I decided I'm gonna catch my reaction to it, considering I am a full time GTA RP streamer on the exact server that this video is talking about so without further ado let's just go check it out meet sav x sav x was at one time one of the most respected names in the rp community okay. he initially rose to fame through his character johnny castle on the extremely popular no pixel server oh pixel what's up guys a coil and and all the devs and administration well yeah sab that's what i see uh Nikita, Koda, um, Nikita. Anyway. Sav's antics and rivalries with other streamers like Buddha, Rami, Dosmady. It's actually Rami, but like, sure, we can say Rami. And many others would slowly turn him into. Shout out to my uh, Rami as well, though. Like, I've, I've been watching, bro, since like the very, like, very, very end of 2.0 and then 3.0 and now 4.0. It's been crazy. Oh, now he's actually on Prodigy. I would love to play over there. Let me not, let me not. Play the video, play the video. To a major creator in the community. That kid has helped me out through so many hard times when I went through Nico. You know, a lot of personal shit I was going through. Sav always helped me out. It seemed as though everything was going perfectly for Sav. He had a thriving Twitch career with thousands of viewers, tons of friends he collabed with every day, and genuinely seemed to love what he was doing. So when Sav started up his stream on November 25th, 2020, he thought that everything was going to go just fine. But this stream would end up being the beginning of the end. While playing on the NoPixel server, Sav had gone into some beef with other players leading to a shootout. Okay. And this shootout would single-handedly end into Sav's career. Okay. I don't have a gun, I don't have a gun! The aimbotting? Cheating in video games is- Oh my god, imagine aim- Bro, it- Oh my god, I'm at- Bro, the whole point of RP, I feel like, is to just have a friendly shootout. It's not to actually be taken seriously to the point where we are wanting to, you know, go out of our way to add uh, trackers on our aim, bro. It's not that serious. At the end of the day, if you're if you're a real RP or you understand RP is just content at the end of the day, if you're a streamer or someone who makes uh video content out of RP. But other than that, I feel like it should just been it just it should have been like a simple, clean 1v1, but it was friendly. It's nothing new. Really? But using an aimbot in a roleplay server was something that most viewers couldn't even fathom. I don't know how much more sad you can be to fucking aimbot in an RP server. After this incident, Voice Critical made a video about it. I gotta go watch that next. It had surfaced, people found other situations where Sav was again using an aimbot, and the community. I'm sorry, but I feel like looking at his aimbot now in 2024, when this was what 20 like four years ago, this like should have been even this should have been easy to tell he had one from the jump. But then again, I guess no one really expected people to use aim assist in an RP server, especially back then. But like, bro, that is crazy. Couldn't believe that it was true. A longtime player and respected member of the community cheating was a real blow to not only the players, but also the community. The day after he was exposed, Sav was permanently banned from NoPixel. Ah. And with this, he would also suddenly take a break from streaming and the internet entirely. When someone gets exposed for something like cheating in the Twitch space, it isn't uncommon for them to simply disappear. But for Sav to not even acknowledge the cheating was a little weird. And I cannot get in contact with him. It actually hurts me a lot. I, I want to make sure he's okay. I want to make sure everything's good with him. And I can't get in contact with him, dude. It sucks. 
And see, this is why I love Shots, bro. He's always making sure other people are, you know, doing good and having good times, no matter whatever scenario he's in. Like right now, kinda, he was trying to contact his friend. He couldn't get in contact and he's worried. Okay, that's that's a friend. And I've even seen instances where he's helped people in no pixel uh get this, do that on Prodigy. Like I'm pretty sure they've done like CG has done a lot of good stuff for the community and for their people and bro. That's why I love CG bro, because they are just awesome, bro. I miss I've been watching them since 2020, man. It's been one hell of a ride going with them. It's the dude, and I hope everything's alright with him, man. A week went by and nothing. Two weeks and not a word. A month later, and he was still nowhere to be seen. And then... <whistles> Hello everyone. It hurts having to share this reality with the rest of you, but it was made aware to me yesterday that Sav has passed away. Conclusion that this is not Sav writing this. Uh, Sav passed away Christmas afternoon. This message is being written and sent out now through my brother's email after obtaining access to his PC. He's gotten numerous emails, messages since November with individuals worried about him. Although the nature of the emails all seem different, we'd like this, uh, the individuals who have reached out to know he's in a better place now. And we thank you all for keeping him in your minds. The hmm. news hit the community hard. Tweets poured in to mourn Sav, tribute videos were made, and the NoPixel team, despite him being banned, added his name to a headstone that stands to honor late members of the server. I think this is still in the server. I can boot up NoPixel right now and I find out, and I'm pretty sure it is. Long story short, it's still there, and for obvious reasons, Sav's name is not there. Obviously people didn't understand what had happened. After being banned from NoPixel, Sav just left the internet and a couple months later the community is now told that he's gone forever. His community and fans didn't get how everything could go so wrong so quickly for Sav. However, a few months had gone by since Sav's announcement and the whole situation wasn't sitting well with Coil the owner of NoPixel, and he was about to uncover some Coil, the owner of NoPixel, and he was about to uncover something he probably wish he had never found. Uh-oh. On June 2nd, 2021, a whole six months after Sav's announcement, Coil went on stream to address some of the concerns he had regarding Sav and his death, and the news shocked the whole community. There's some weird things going on, right? Uh, uh I don't know if you guys know who this, who, who's this Twitter is, okay? It's Sav's, all right? joined january 2021 okay so i don't know if you guys knew the date of uh when he had passed but uh this is after uh he he he'd passed away <clears throat> i know i did like i said this is weird e everything says to me that he's not actually dead we uh we, we had this for a while and this was literally uh two weeks ago right that's uh that's something that we've been dwelling on for a while and i think uh some people didn't want to talk about it but it's something that needs to come out the community couldn't believe what they were hearing this allegation would ruin the memory of sav forever but coil as well if he was wrong so he wouldn't say that if he wasn't sure though the community hmm. didn't know it a couple weeks prior to coil's stream Rami, another extremely popular RP streamer and good friend of Sav's, My guy. received a message on Discord from supposedly late Sav. Yeah, it's fucked. I'm, I've never been put in that position before. The fuck? I didn't know how to react. How the fuck do I react to that, right? When your homies fucking fakes the death, like, you know, like, how do I, how do I even react to that? This is, and I, like I said, I told you, I've been watching Rami for a while. This is the exact clip. Where I, where I said in the beginning, 
I've heard Rami talk about it. And because he was, this is like jewelry, 3.0 rings and all this type of shit. Oh my God, I was a fucking, fucking nerd back then when it came to this RP shit. He couldn't believe what he was reading. <clears throat> Pause to read while I read all of this. Ooh, Rami pressed him. Rami, one of Sav's best friends who he mourned Press him, Rami. faked his death to escape him and everyone else in the RP community and that it was all just a lie. So he at in the DMs, if you look at the DMs, he was like, let's hop in a call after your stream. After my stream, I tried hopping in a call. I think what happened is I think he got sussed out by my messages because I think he expected me to be like, oh my God, welcome back. Like, haha, you're so funny. Like, you know what I mean? But I think because I was like, bro, are you fucking stupid? Like what? I think he got sussed out by my messages and then uh, just went AWOL again. The community didn't know what to think. There was an extreme debate over whether Sav's Discord had been hacked. The community couldn't believe that this could be real for even a second. And a week later on June 9th, 2021, the community would finally get the truth. I don't know if any of the other guys have uh, talked about the Sav shit. We got someone to investigate some shit, like a hired a guy, and it's a hundred percent confirmed that he's alive. By the way, there's there's literally zero doubt, actual actual evidence. Okay, so we got all this information, uh, but obviously I can't release it because that's pretty much doxing. There there is literally no doubt, yeah. zero, actually zero doubt that he uh, uh, faked his death. So the truth was out. After hiring a private investigator, wow. Coyle had confirmed that Sav was still alive. The outrage was unheard of. That is so sad that someone could be so pathetic to fake their own death because they were upset about a ban in a game. How dumb can you fucking be? A community that has mourned the loss of more streamers than most now had one of their most respected members faking their death just to escape the community after he got banned for cheating. This is a situation that I don't think any community on mm. Twitch has ever seen. I've never been put in this position, right? Where like <laughs> your homie fakes his own death. Like I don't, I don't really know. I, I don't really know. It's kind of weird. You I'm know? sorry. Off topic. Rami's alerts back then before he came back to Twitch. We're fucking fire. Like, I love this alert box. I wish he had, like, what Shots has with his old alerts. Um, the signature series, even though that was with VBI and that's not a thing no more. But I wish he could, like, do something with this, with his old one. I would buy that shit. I would use his shit. Bro, that, like... Sorry, off topic. The nerd in me came out. Sorry, play the video. Right. Like, fuck him. That's, that's a low, man. That's a low. You don't do that, bro. That's like sociopathic shit. That's not, that's not, that's not normal, bro. Like after all of this evidence had come to light, Sav's Twitch account would be permanently banned where it stands to this day. Damn. And the internet has never seen the return of Sav since. Wow. 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 So, you, so all of that happened. Oh my God. Like, bro, when Robbie was talking about it, uh, years ago, I really thought like, like I thought it was some serious shit happened, like, or like I like like like. like uh, sorry, hold on. When Rami talked about it a while ago, like I knew he faked his death, but I never knew the story leading up to it. So now that I'm hearing that it, now that I'm hearing all of this was over a a ban because he decided to use aimbot to kill two cops is insane. Is <laughs> is actually insane all because he didn't want to hear the backlash from the no pixel community because there is one thing i can say about the no pixel community one wrong one person does something wrong no matter if they watch them or not everybody in no pixel on the reddit especially will be on their ass in five minutes look at denzel shiesty and look at his videos on youtube yeah <laughs> The no pixel community is in shambles right now. Anyways, look, that's a crazy story. I'm finally glad to know how all of this came about. That's really weird, but 
you know and what's crazy is that while during that video i was like i wonder what his twitch account is doing is it just sitting there but they got it bam damn hey man if y'all enjoyed the video go ahead and slap a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you are new with my notifications turned on we are back posting videos this is video number two uh time to go make a third one for tonight and then maybe get off and hit this off i shouldn't have said that bye